internet, what is up? Welcome back to Toho, hidden star of four seasons, and welcome back to the Type Q Gaming st Gaming Station. <laughs> Gaming. Jesus fuck! I can't do this right once, can I? It's too much to ask. Anyway, 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 we got an interesting run here. Not a good run, but an interesting run. Uh, consider this a study of mad science. Or maybe not, or maybe just one idiot discovering something that everyone else in the on, online has already discovered. But it's a little bit more of the cheap shot meta, or rather, getting in there and hitting a boss or an enemy with release um, just before something like that, just before they are able to shoot their shot. And that's and if and and, and that's a little bit of what I'm talking about right there, where. Um, we do a lot of damage with release, and then it gives us a lot of points. Uh, we're gonna do something in this video that I have not been able to, that I haven't been able to do before, which is we're gonna get extends on the very first level, um, and I think we're gonna extend on like the second level as well. Either way, we get our multiplier pretty high, and we get a lot of points really soon, um, and it's really promising. However, uh, this is all sort of paired with um, some really big fuck-ups um, and just general shitty aggressive play but what's this is gonna be the really funny part of it all though as I'm kind of like I'm not entirely discouraged by this junk run is that like we beat our high score uh, pretty pretty soon in it like there, there's a lot of evidence in this um, that would make me feel like I'm doing something right despite the fact that there, there's a lot to complain about. You know, even when we do that cheap shot, it's giving us a ton of uh, green pebbles as well, which is only going to, like, fuel our sort of... Uh, I'm, I'm a giant uh, giant baby meta of hiding and, and using the releases when we can. I mean, we're up to level 4 already. Not that that's like a, a giant, like, uh, a, a giant hurrah or anything, but as you can see, our point modifier on the side is already at 16,000, you know, uh, 0.6 higher than default, facing the, you know, the first level boss. And check this out. Boss is already gone extend on the first level so immediately here at this point while I was playing the game I'm going I think I'm, go I'm on to something you know so we'll add a little more game volume in it you know I'm on I, I think I'm on to something you know I know it was just kind of I was speaking kind of bullshit last time going yeah I, I played aggressive um, and I didn't really get the results I wanted like I don't know I, I stuck to it again and be like, listen, I really think it's, I'm on to something. And keep in mind, I haven't really watched other uh, other videos about this. You know, I, I, I try to keep myself as much in the dark as possible. There's another sort of cheap shit I used on that enemy. Uh, the more I familiarize myself with this game, uh, the more I know which enemies are going to kind of project a bunch of bullshit at the same time, you know, and then I can just drop that release on them. So I really think, um, yeah, there's another pretty decent release, I'd say, picking up all those pink orbs at the same time and also just kind of wiping off that enemy. Um, I really think, unless this is just some sort of random lucky run, not the, not the most successful uh, release cheap shot there, but I don't think we're going to really get one out of her, to be completely honest. She doesn't really have that sort of burst attack. Unless it's the, the sort of the wall. Um, we may just fight, you know, beat her old style where you just kind of turtle and uh, 
just, you know, bomb and release it out, you know. But I think the point I was saying is, like, I feel that if I familiarize myself with this and um, not suck, you know, not give away those, you know, cheap lives here and there, being stupid, you know, we could make, probably make a good run um, at 1C seeing normal. I think that's the key for me, where I'm playing a pretty um, defense-oriented character and set up that this would be the extra amount of like, aggressiveness that... I think I kind of have to compensate for. Yeah, real bad dodge there, and I think I really put myself in a bad position where I kind of, um, you know, went for the cheap shot and then pulled back where um, I don't like that. I, I, I haven't felt comfortable that in that area of that pattern. Usually when, when she starts putting out those big knives, I like to be up front and kind of take the speed of it and kind of get in a groove and kind of just dodge everything. And I just put myself in a stupid position and and that's going to be one of many stupid mistakes in this in this uh, this run. However, I think that's going to be kind of eclipsed by um, some of the goodness of the run, or at least interestingness, at least that I felt. Or, you know, at least one of those Eureka moments. You know, I think sometimes, you know, it gets discouraging when you're working on a, on a game like this, when you're, uh, you know, sort of doing the daily runs, doing the work, you know, putting a few hours into the game uh, a day, and then you kind of, like, stagnate out where you feel like, listen, I'm really not getting any better, I'm not really making any progress. You know, maybe I should try different things. There's our third extend already at 20 mil. And you, you know, you get kind of frustrated going, I, you know, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm out of, I'm out of options. You know, I'm supposed to get better, but how do I, how do I just get better? You know. Um, and although, you know, it was kind of, this is certainly not a, a stupendous run by any regards. There's a, there's a sort of failed cheap shot there. I meant to run in and hit the, hit the uh, release button, and maybe I, I died just a moment before, because I think we can extend from there if we don't die, but. I could be wrong. You know, it, it can be very frustrating if you don't really see a physical, um, some physical progress, you know? If you're not always beating your high score or beating a little further in the game, you're like, well, what's, you know, am I going backwards? You know, I mean, you can go back into my Space Moth, Space Moth DX videos and see, like, uh, what frustration looks like. Or sounds or you know sounds like for that matter. Um, so you know even even though this video is only slightly longer than before you know the others, you know our high score is um, a thousand. Well, I wouldn't say a thousand, but it's 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 greatly higher than usual. And these extends that we're getting, we're getting super early in our run. Other than you know later on, so it feels like. You know, at least we're pointed in the right, di right direction. You know, maybe we're still the same amount of, you know, trash and garbage as we usually are. At least now we have, you know, the compass pointed in the right direction. And this is certainly a, a boss that we've uh, had some trouble with in the past, particularly this. Um, pattern here, which I am just not having any, you know, having any, uh, taking any risks with. I'm just, you know, forced it right there, just released and bombed the fuck out of it. And there's always something to, rem to always something to uh, remind yourself is that when you die, you re you're given three more bombs. So it's kind of like. You know, I, and that was a particularly good round there, beating the piss out of her and hitting her with some good releases. But I was, what I was saying is, like, it's always good to know that, like, or good to kind of remind yourself that, like, although this is probably not the best practice, you know, as you're kind of, like, accepting your death, you know, on a particular life, to make sure you use all your uh, um, bombs and be like, okay, this pattern's crazy. Um, it's probably going to hit me. 
but let me make sure I at least use all my bombs first. And releases for that matter, really. This is me just kind of grazing the whole screen of these bad guys, but yeah, I, I guess as silly as it is, run into an enemy there. But essentially, I think that's kind of what you want to do there, it's just kind of graze. All the enemies just start just firing you in the direction, so you can kind of just go around. Unfortunately, if you go that direction, you do have to kind of watch your ass and not back into an enemy and get killed. But of mistakes being made, you know, I'd much rather be dodging bullets you know, successfully and, and running into something then then just like huddled in the corner waiting to die like I've done in some videos. I mean, our point modifier now is at um, 37,000. Uh, Pretty wild and crazy if I, if, I, uh, if I do say so. You can tell it our, our current score it's getting pretty close to our high score already. So I think, if nothing else, this is kind of what the cheap shot meta... I, I, I do apologize if it goes by a different name and I've just kind of named it that. I, I honestly, I, I discovered it organically, if that's, you know, uh, any excuse. So I don't really know what everyone else has been calling it. Um, but you can kind of see what that's been, what's, what that does, you know, it, it gets your multiplier really high, and gets your points really high, extends really high, and it does do some damage, um, if you, if you, if you time it just right. So it really isn't the question, you know, you know, does, uh, a 1cc on, for me, mean that I have to hit, you know, 100% of those sort of cheap shots? I don't know, you know, or at least enough to, you know, get my multiplier up to something that's great. But yeah, we're at 60 mil. Top score is 64 mil. And kind of discovering the sort of up-down um, method to this um, pattern here that makes it, that pretty opens it up to pretty much being pretty easy now. Previously, this is, this is one of the um, harder bosses uh, for me, but certainly picking up that sort of, um, that's, that's unfortunate, that's real stupid. We normally don't have that problem, but using that first, um, uh, pattern, usually is one of the more trickier ones. And you can tell we're just being super aggressive with it, getting, getting right in there and just putting a lot of damage in. Pretty unfortunate we made that mistake in being stupid as hell. And I wanted to get in there and hit her with another uh, release, but it just, her, 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 uh, her stuff came in too, too quick. But not like it mattered all too much. I'm kind of finishing off here with one of the easier attacks. And there we go, we got that. But yeah, and now we're crossing our high score. And now, like, uh, and, and, and getting the extend there. So, 71 mil um, high score, you know, and, and at 41,000 for our, our points. Like, Getting a hundred hundred mil really doesn't sound like all that hard of a task, even at this stage of the game. Stage five, so you know, second to last stage. Um, but certainly, this is certainly where it gets real, real fucky. You know, where the enemies just kind of just drop a whole cloud of bullshit on you. Um, so you know, sometimes it's important. Not not to come in here flat-footed without any bombs or anything like that, but it looks like we had enough um, releases to kind of get us by.
82 mil already. I said, really not comfortable with any of this. And then there goes that depth right there. As we get 86 mil. So it, it's that 100 mil is looking real nice and real close. A bit too early, I would say, hitting it with that release, but it's not like we've been up here, you know, taking her on all that much. Usually, you know, being this stupid, but got an extend out of her all the same, so that certainly helps. I think she's one of those bosses that's just programmed to give you a free life if you beat her. Probably not an area that, of the level to be uh, out of bombs and out of release, I suppose. But not sitting at ninety eight mil. Three releases, sadly no bombs, and uh, against the boss here. Sadly, um, looks like we got hit there, but we do have a couple more bombs. And really just kind of rushing it down. Probably a bad bomb there where you can see a lot of those bursts really just didn't get to go to any use. Really wanted to go in there and just hit over the hit over the release, but not happening. And then really in a bad position, just trying not to get hit. But hey, you can see that from our first to second score, you know, crazy good. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, do all that stuff, and we'll come back and do some more mad science later.